and welcome to another sum talk. Uh, since our last video, we've actually gained uh, quite a few new subscribers, so I'd just like to thank you guys for subscribing and hope you enjoy all the future videos. Sorry, it's been so long since the last one, just things have come up, and funnily enough, <laughs> the one time I get to sit down and make a new vid, my neighbour decides to play really loud rap music. Um, so, <laughs> if you hear any gangster beats in the background, I apologise in advance. So today I was wanting to talk about the retro game boom. Uh, anyone who's into video games or has been into video games, it's hard to miss just how popular retro games have become again. Um, so popular that you get companies like Nintendo that are releasing their mini NES next month. Uh, Sega are releasing like a little mini Mega Drive that you can plug your old Mega Drive games into and it comes preloaded with a bunch of other games as well. Um, it's pretty cool, and obviously I've been playing games since I was a kid. First console was a Mega Drive, but pretty much played all of them growing all the major consoles uh, growing up. And um, so obviously for me it's a really cool thing. But uh, something gets popular. There's always going to be people there that are trying to you know monetize it and make as much money as they can out of it, which is really unfortunate considering how cheap retro games used to be. Um, now they're four or five times more than they were just because they're popular now. Um, now don't get me wrong, there's been an increase in specialist shops that are selling retro games and you know they're great because most part they um, price things fairly and take into account how rare something is and whatnot. So I don't have an issue with them. It's companies like my main target of the video, uh, CEX, that I've spotted online and their shops that they've started selling retro games. Um, they've just jumped on, on board trying to make a quick buck. Um, they probably pay like peanuts for the retro games and then sell them for ridiculous prices. Um, prime example is, and I couldn't find the image, but someone posted online an image of uh, Super Metroid, unboxed on the SNES obviously, they were selling it for £50. To me that is insane, an unboxed SNES game. Yes it's old, yes it's a really sought after game, but you've got to consider that Super Metroid was one of the, was one of the biggest titles on the SNES. It was huge. In America, I couldn't get the UK sales figures, but in America it sold a million copies. So it's not rare. It's unboxed. It, uh, £50. <laughs> For example, I think it, it must it must have been about f five years ago, um, I actually picked up an unboxed copy of Super Metroid at a car boot for £3. There you are. What? That's not even... That's more than five times. <laughs> uh, it, that's more than five times the value. Um, Again, I understand that they're popular now and more in demand than they were five years ago. But it's just unfair for those people that maybe missed missed out on playing these old consoles the first time because they were kids and they couldn't afford it. Now they've got a bit more money, they want to be like, oh, you know, I can go back to the SNES and play these games I missed while growing up. Or, the big thing is the cashing on the nostalgia. They want to relive their childhood as well. That just seems unfair where it's like, alright, you want to feel this happiness you felt when you were a kid by playing this classic game. That's £50 for this, for this game that's sold well over a million copies, has been mass produced, was readily available for years, now all of a sudden £50. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. It's so cynical. It doesn't help that uh, every major newspaper seems to be running stories on how much you can get free games, oh are these in your loft, oh this is worth so much amount of money, your Pokemon games because the Pokemon Go are now worth a grand, I don't know, it's, it's just, it's gotten a bit out of control and I just want people to stop. People are comparing it to, one news article I read is that people are comparing it to antiques, saying that obviously these are all to the gain value. So that's why, you know, some of them are really expensive, boxed, sealed, 
That is fine. That's completely fine. I can understand why a sealed box version of any game is worth way more than like an unboxed version or a tatty version of it or whatever. I understand that. But comparing something like a really well selling game to an antique is just a bit ridiculous. Like most antiques weren't mass produced on the scale that video games are like and I completely understand uh, prices for games that are really rare you know Grandia 2 on the Dreamcast I don't know that's the first one that came to mind um, Radiant Silvergun these are games that when they came out they didn't sell much and are really hard to find now they're proper collectibles they just well not fully deserved but <laughs> they earn their high price tag. My local CX site selling unboxed N64 games. They had GoldenEye, Snowball's Kids, I can't remember what else, I've got a picture, I'll put it on the video. There. <laughs> they were selling a bunch of unboxed N64 games, £16 each. Snowboard Kids, and that Snowboard Kids 2 is incredibly rare, but Snowboard Kids that's like a fiver's worth of game. It's a good game, but not collectible. GoldenEye, again, the biggest selling game on the N64. Shouldn't be £16. I recently went to a car boot, and obviously, when I was a kid, I used to go to car boot, get loads of cheap rep show games, it was awesome. Um, this guy had a bunch of water damage SNES games, and the boxes were tatty, obviously because of the water damage, you don't know how the game's going to play. He was selling them for like 50 quid or something. Like, And when a friend asked why they were so expensive, he went, oh, that's what they're going for on eBay. Put it on eBay then, because people don't come to car boots with £50 in their pocket to buy retro games. They come for bargains. Please stop, people who are taking advantage of this please. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed my mini rant. Um, <laughs> please like, comment and subscribe is what people said. And the rap music is gone, so no more funky beats for anyone.